you know, I'm wanting to know why there is so much racism. If you do a uh, YouTube search for open carry Hardy's incident, uh, you'll find a video on there. And at one point in there, somebody uh, was talking about how five black guys were approaching her. And there are a lot of people saying, oh, that's racist. How could she have said such a thing? She was being descriptive. Okay? She was be uh, describing an incident that had taken place. Now, I'm wondering why everybody turns that into, into such a racial issue. Uh, you know, if a black guy says, well, there were five, five white guys walking towards me, there's not a problem. But if a white person identifies a, an individual as black, they're being racist. I don't understand that. Nobody said the N-word or, or anything derogatory or anything negative about these individuals, simply that they were black. Okay, and there was nothing towards them saying, well, it's the black people, you know? So don't get this video m confused by thinking it's some kind of racial video or, or something like that. I I'm just curious why there's so much uh, racism out there. Uh, why we can't be descriptive. It is not racist for an individual to call an African American black. They are black. The same thing goes with white people. We are considered white, so if you are a, a couple of black guys or a couple of Hispanics are, are talking about white people and they call them white, no one at all considers it racist. I've never heard such a thing. I've never seen it online. I've never seen it. You know, nobody, nobody goes, oh, you're being racist, man. You, you called them white. Nobody says that. But when some white guy calls uh, African Americans black, it's racist because you're identifying them as their color. But it's okay for, for people to identify whites with their color. What is, what is that? that? That's the racism I'm talking about. There are so many people with this victim mentality out there that anytime somebody refers to your race um, or, or the color of your skin, and not even in a derogatory way, simply referring to you as your color, the same as you do with whites. But if somebody does that, they're racist. You have a victim mentality. You're looking for something to complain about. You're looking to start a problem when some, somebody is simply talking. And they're not really talking about you. They're simply referring to your skin color. Um, because you are black. I mean, do you have a problem being black? See, I don't have a problem being white. So when somebody refers to me as a white guy, I don't find offense to that at all. I am not offended in any way when somebody calls me a white guy. Because I am. Okay? Somebody can call me a fat guy. It's a bit of an insult, but you know what? I am a big guy. I don't have a problem with that. So, so when somebody calls me white, I don't have a problem. But when somebody calls a black person black, they get offended. And, and I don't really understand it. You can call a Hispanic a Hispanic and they don't have a problem with it. It just seems to be around the African American community. community and I'm, I'm really uh, dumbfounded as to, as to how this mindset has taken place. Um... There, there's just so much. I mean, think of, think of it about this way. If a white person calls somebody black, black, they're racist, okay? Yet, uh, not everyone, but a majority of, of African-American individuals call themselves the N-word. They refer to their friends and family, the N-word, okay? And that's perfectly fine. A derogatory word that they don't want white people to use because it's offensive, it's an offensive word towards black people, but they can use it towards themselves. I'm not saying I want to use the word. I'm just pointing out that there's a lot of hypocrite, uh, a lot of hypocrites out there. They're they're saying that oh well, the n word's wrong, and calling a black person black is wrong, but calling a white person white, that's not wrong. Calling a white person a honky, that's not wrong. No, no, there's nothing wrong with that. Nobody takes offense to that. And a, and a white person can't call a black person the N-word, but a black person can call another black person the N-word, and it's perfectly acceptable. It's that victim mentality again, because it, you can call each other derogatory, offensive terms and be perfectly fine. But as soon as the white man calls you a, a supposedly derogatory term that you also use towards your fellow friends and family, then there's a problem. You're just looking to become a victim somehow. You just want people boo-hoo-hooing over it. 
and it's absolutely absurd and ridiculous. This racism in America and across the world has got to go. It's absolutely insane. Um, I know I got into a conversation with a guy on YouTube on one of my videos the other day, and he was talking about how the black man is oppressed by the white man and that's why they're on welfare and they're on food stamps and they can't you know they can't get anywhere anywhere in this life because of the white man and it's all the white man's fault and it absolutely blew my mind it was like it's not the white man's fault there's the white man isn't doing anything to you and he said yeah y'all own my great great granddaddy I'm like okay first of all I never owned anyone my parents never owned anyone my grandparents never owned anyone so we need to get rid of that oh y'all well, the white people owe us nobody owes you shit buddy you did not suffer from any oppression okay you were not a slave your parents weren't a slave your grandparents weren't a slave hell you'll be lucky if your great grandparents were slaves and yes, slavery, slavery was a horrible thing, it was a terrible thing, and it should have never fucking happened, but if you want to be completely honest about it, you do realize in Africa, uh, there are still black slaves in your home country. People are still selling their children and their family members and their friends as slaves. So, that's not going on in America. So, this, oh, well, my, you know, my ancestors were slaves bullshit needs to go out the door, because that shit's happening today in your home country and it's absolutely absurd it's it's all the the victim mentality that's all it is because if if the majority of black people who are uh, upset over slavery and and of course they should all be we should all be upset over it but I'm saying the majority of them who are upset over it and looking for uh, uh, an issue oh well it's wrong and, and, and y'all owe me well why don't you go over to Africa and I'm not being rude and saying go to Africa. I'm saying why don't you go to Africa and fight for the freedom of the slaves that are over there, the black slaves that are still in Africa. Why don't you do that since you have such a problem with slavery? I don't see you doing anything. It's not going on here anymore, but it's going on in the place that you came from. We abolished that shit here, okay? So you can quit complaining about it. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, I'm sure everyone's aware of uh, the United Negro College Fund. It's perfectly acceptable term, apparently. Um, they accepted one white person before, ever, and that was because of all the press and, and uh, the people having a problem with there being a, a, racial, a racially motivated college fund. But now we can't say that because they let one white guy in, ever. It's ridiculous. And, uh, and another interesting little thing is, if I was to start a college fund called the United not, the United Caucasian College Fund or the United White People College Fund or anything with the white people, anything of any kind like that, it will never happen. It will not go through. It won't happen. It, it will be riots and, and protests. It will hit the fucking news. It will hit the streets. The world will be in chaos. But we can have the United Negro College Fund. Basically what I'm saying is all, all this this racism and this victim mentality shit has to go. Uh, anybody who's sitting around getting offended by the term black people, but yet can just just as freely and as happily use the term white people, or the Mexican people, or the Chinese people, and use anything like that and be perfectly fine, but at the same time be upset if somebody calls you black when you're black, if you have a problem with that, you're, you have a victim mentality and you need to grow up, okay? Nobody owes you anything. You know why? I live in Birmingham, Alabama. You do realize that most of the city council of Birmingham is black? You know how many mayors in America are black? Okay? You do realize we have a black president? Have you heard about that? Since some 92% of, of African Americans voted for Obama in the last presidential election, I'm sure you do. Okay? We have a black president. Okay? The president is the highest office in the country. The highest political office in the entire United States and there's a black man there you can no longer say that the white man is keeping you down because god damn it there's a black man in the highest fucking office we can even have this victim shit is absolutely ridiculous it's absurd it's annoying so grow up every one of you grow up the racism in this country has to go and if anybody thinks this video is racist you're the racist
Anybody who sits here and comments on this video and says that I, anything I have said is racist is a racist. I'm not a racist, okay? I'm absolutely all for all everyone being free and having equal rights. They're, they're, you know, but I'm absolutely sick to death of of anybody being able to say that, hey, look, look at those white people, and that's okay. But we say, oh, look at those black people. Whoa, 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 why are you pointing out their color? What's wrong? That's racist. I'm just sick of that. I'm sick of there being a United Negro College Fund. But if I was to start the United Caucasian College Fund, shit would hit the fan. I'm sick of the black man. Not all of you. Don't don't sit here and think I'm talking about all black people. Not everyone is like this. This is specifically for the people who act like this. So I just wanted to correct that because I know somebody would point that out. But I'm sick of the people who complain and say, oh man, the white man's keeping me down when there are mayors and city council members, politicians, and even the fucking president is black. There are black people in every single office in America, there are rich black people, there are poor black people. There are rich white people, there are poor white people. We are all equal. The only difference is that when you were given an opportunity, you didn't take it. Or you didn't look for the opportunity and you sat on your ass and did nothing and let it slip by. Grow up. Do it now!